One of the strategies that has to be considered when working with SIPs is the fact that we have now put up all of the panels and made a very airtight structure. Now this airtight structure, some people um, believe that uh, can be a bad thing because they believe houses need to breathe. That's not exactly the case. Modern building science is very clear on this issue and that airtight homes are energy efficient homes and that's a good thing. Um, air tightness makes the house energy efficient. Um, it makes it quieter. It cuts down on drafts. It does a lot of good things for us. The problem is, is if we don't ventilate this very tight structure, some bad things can then occur. So we have to understand the strategy of not only making the house airtight, because that does a lot of good things for us, but also we need to ventilate it properly. Um, unfortunately, a lot of HVAC contractors forget that there's a V on the side of their van, and that V stands for ventilation. And ventilation is absolutely critical and important. And depending geographically where you are in the country and how many heating degree days you might be faced with, you need to approach the ventilation strategy perhaps differently. In some cases, you can do it relatively inexpensively and quickly with a um, uh, ventilation fans and a strategy that brings fresh air into the uh, return duct of the HVAC system or the um, uh, air uh, handling system. In other areas where we're in colder climates, what's commonly used is a HRV or a heat recovery ventilator. Now this ventilator is going to take the stale, perhaps moist air that's inside of the house because it's nice and tight and we develop pollutants which are in fact moisture and um, just stale air from people living, eating, breathing, working, and whatever they do inside of a structure. We want to get rid of that stale air. So we take that heated or warm stale air and as it passes out of the structure, the fresh air, cooler air comes into that structure and then we preheat it because it's a heat recovery ventilator, meaning that it's a transfer of heat. It's a, a uh, heat exchanger, if you will. So now we're bringing fresh air into this house. And it's very important to understand that because without fresh air, the indoor air quality tends to suffer. So we want to build it tight, but we also want to ventilate it right. Once we have completed the SIP structure using an OSB skin panel, we now have what is essentially a wood structure. Because it's a wood structure and because we know that all siding leaks, we need to put a drainage plane over this panel to prevent any water, bulk water, which comes through in a driving rainstorm, your siding from coming in contact with the wood skin of the panel and causing any moisture problems.